Javi Lopez, T.O.P. Magazine with LeJ from Livewire. How's it going, bro? How are you doing today? Bro, I'm doing good. You feel me? It's feeling good in Stockton. Right. I ain't heard about nobody getting shot today. So, <laughs> good day. you know, <laughs> it's all good. You know, <laughs> out here in the studio working on Room 209. So, mm -hmm. that's what's up. So, what good. you got going on? What's new? Man, um, like I said, I'm in the studio right now. I'm moving studio, working on Room 209. Um, I'm still pushing the bottom of the ninth with me and style and we just dropped a video called pussy on you make sure y'all go check that out mm -hmm. it's off the hook we got a couple more videos we putting in together so those are the main two projects that i'm working on right now also got a sex tape out right now you can download it for free at lejayallday.com see me in action you feel me yeah. so uh after you got signed with livewire like how did that make you feel like what made you like how did that make you feel really? well it was a great opportunity to expand what I've been doing in the 209. I'm from Stockton. So I've been doing a lot of shows in Stockton forever. So first I was singing and people knew me as that. And then I just started throwing hella parties. And my parties got up where people from the Bay was hitting me like, oh, I'm trying to get out there, put me for a show because the parties was cracking. Mm -hmm. And you know, me being signed with Livewire, it just expanded what I was doing, you know? Because the prenup album, I did a lot of the tours on the pre on the prenup album with Stalin. Okay. So like that just. Exp so besides your shows, and I mean the years coming to almost to an end, what can your fans expect from you? I got two more projects I'm trying to drop by the end of the year. One is called Swag on Point with my partner El Capone. Mm -hmm. That shit is so dope. We got the live wire artists on there. Got Mr. Fab on there, you know, Live Wild Rock with Fab. We got Slim from 112 on the album. I also got my main mixtape called Room 209. So that one is like the cream of the crop, everything I've been working on. So Room 209 is like my biggest project that I'm really just trying to focus on right now. So those are two new projects y'all can check me out on for sure. For sure. So what made you want to get into music? Well, I've been doing music forever. Like... I was real active as a kid. I did all type of sports. I did baseball, football, basketball. I ran track. I was good in track, like real good. But as I got older, like I just decided to either do one thing. It was either do track, because I was good at track. I ran the 800, and then, or do the music. So I was like, I'm just gonna do this music and just see how it worked. I've been doing music for so long, probably since I was like three or four, um, third or fourth grade, so Dang, I just I just kept on doing it. You know, it just became fun. Then I had a, went to a talent show. From the talent show, you know, it just went on. It just got bigger, and I just stuck with it. So, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, who like what are your like who are some of your inspirations like music wise or to me from the community? Anybody? Who are some of your inspirations? Man. um inspirations my mom my dad those are real inspirations in my life uh, in the community I would say Brandy Spencer he's a young brother out here doing things for the community you know he came from a hard times and he's still doing great things so I look to him for inspiration as well especially when I be out doing all these shows I know I can hit him and be like hey man how's the city going what's going on he's like bro we got this he always let me know about new talent that's going on so like I, he is like an inspiration to me um also styling because he worked real real hard he got a great work ethic um so those are like my real good inspirations you know i like i like work ethics and i like people that's really focused on doing good things either if it's putting out good quality music or just even doing good things for the community mm -hmm. so like can you explain, like, how is it, like, working with Jay Stalin, Guilty, and other people from Livewire to your work ethics? Like, when, when you guys work together, it's probably something amazing will happen in the studio. Yeah, man, it, it is amazing. Like, Filthy, he put out so much music, you know, and so many videos. 
it's a great thing because he always got good visuals out for his fans to really get a glimpse of what he's writing at. You know, he's one of the hardest workers in the Bay. I mean, period. You can't say nothing bad about it. He just, he outworked everybody, you know, and that's a that's a great thing to be a part of a team like that, you know. Mm -hmm. With Stalin, he just dropped memoirs. We dropped one. Um, he's working on a double album right now with DJ Fresh. Shout out to DJ Fresh. So, like, when you get in the lab with people that's working so hard, it make you step your game up to a whole nother level as well. You know, not just musically, but also visually, you know, the visual, you gotta have the visuals, you gotta have the music out, you gotta have your promotional team. You know, I got a promotional team, Clefno TNT. Shit, we promote everything. We like kill the whole the whole situation. It's like 10 or 11 of us, and we just go out there and we just push all the videos. So, you know, we got a real good promo team. So that's one thing that I was able to bring to the table as well, you know. And it helps when you're working with artists like Filthy and Stalin. You need a team to to push you and make sure you on your you on your you know you on your P's and Q's. Yeah. So, um, you have any advice like you like to tell other upcoming artists, even producers, anything you like to tell them when they're coming up? Yes. My advice for upcoming artists is to keep pushing your line and don't stop. A lot of artists that fell off is because they dropped the album and they waited too long to put another album out. You got to really just stay on your grind. And for cities that ain't hella big, like if you ain't from Oakland or Frisco, or San Jose or Sacramento, if you're from a smaller city in the, in the valley or the bay, if your city ain't feeling you, ain't nothing wrong with going outside of your city and pushing your line because every city got haters. You feel me? My city love me, but I know other cities, they got haters. It's haters in every city. Just stay on your grind because sometimes people got to go somewhere and hear your name. And then when they come back, they be like, oh, Ooty Whoop, I just seen so-and-so. I just seen somebody bumping so-and-so's music when I was in Sacramento. But the dude is from Fremont. Yeah. You feel me? Our dude is from Modesto. Now they a fan. Yeah. You know, that's how people is sometimes because when, you have, when you're from a city that ain't never broke an artist before, it's hard for the people to take them serious. You feel me? So sometimes you got to go outside your cities to get known so your city can't feel you, you know? That's, it's fucked up, but that's how it is. But really, it just make you work harder. So for upcoming artists, just don't get discouraged. If, if Keep doing your line. If niggas ain't feeling you, then keep pushing your shit and, and go to other cities and then always bring it back. But it ain't okay to go to other cities and get your buzz up and then come back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And before we end, is there anything you'd like to say? Any shout outs? To give out. Yeah, man. Free J Jonah, Live Wire. Room 209 coming soon. Shout out to T.O.P. Magazine doing their thing from the Valley to the Bay. You know, I love him for that. Shout out to Clef No TNT. You know, I got an artist myself. His name is Cuddy. He got an album coming out. He from Acorn, West Oakland. Shout out to Stalin. The whole Live Wire crew. Shout out to Shady Nate. Um, shout out to El Capone, Clef No TNT. You know, just keep it moving. Stay up. Check out my website, L J A Y A L L D A Y. That's LeJ All Day. Instagram, LeJ All Day. Facebook, LeJ All Day. Twitter, LeJ All Day. And MySpace, LeJ All Day. You feel me? This shit go back from hella far away. Y'all niggas just getting on this shit. I've been all day since 06. Y'all niggas stop stealing my words. <laughs> Like I said, thank you for having the time for work with us. Appreciate it. And it's Harvey from Harvey Love from TLP Magazine. Stay tuned for our next issue. Peace. I'm a leader.